Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you a another 4000 ELO rated game with 270 threads between Alpha Zero and me. We played this game with 12 hours time control, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched, they must be felt with the heart, so let's start our chess game. I started with d4 we have knight f6, c4 and this is the same opening as we had yesterday, but alpha didn't play d6 east indian defense. He chooses to play d6 which is called old indian defense, he can turn the game into puck defense or he can strike the center with e5 or c5, we have knight f3 knight to d7 knight c3 and he strikes the center with e5, playing d5 wouldn't solve your center problem because the knight will get the c5 square to access the e4 square with the pawn, and another knight, therefore black will push the f pawn or move the bishop to f5 to use the diagonal, bishop fumetto would be a favorable choice for black, so. Here we have e4 to counter the center, success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it, so he played c6, bishop e2 by me, g6 to plant the bishop on this diagonal to put pressure on the center, castle bishop g7 and I pushed the d-pawn, queen e7 bishop g5 h6, to kick out the bishop. The greatest mistake you can make is to be continually fearing that you'll make one. Taking the knight or moving back the bishop isn't the best move, because if you play bishop h4 then after g5 bishop g3, then bishop will be paralyzed because of this Boleslavsky whole pawn formation, so in this position, if you think you can take the knight, then after bishop takes bishop, look at your structure, all of these pawns are on white square, your light squared bishop will be completely locked behind your own pawn structure. This means that you need dark square bishop to control over these dark squares not your light square bishop, so in this position we have bishop e3, he played knight g4 to target the bishop, so bishop e2 knight f6, knight back to e1 to play f3 to build pawn chain, knight f5 to target the key pawn with two pieces which is why I played f3 to protect the structure permanently, bishop e3 and b4 is coming, so a5 bishop e3 knight h5, threatening to go knight f4 which is why you can't take the knight. So I played g3 to protect it and he get an opportunity to put the bishop on h3, rook up to f2 castle, queen d2 to target the pawn with bishop battery, rook is coming so he decided to strikes the center with f5, if you dare to take the pawn pawn on h6 then f4 will come, you have to do bishop exchanges and after doing pawn exchanges on f4, your own pan structure will betray you, because of your structure, your pieces cannot help the king on these weak squares. Therefore black will come to the g file and the h file to destroy your mind and you, maybe he can make rook battery in h file. Trust takes many years to build, few seconds to break, and forever to repair, so back to the position. I played he takes f5, pawn captures f5, he captured it with pawn to open up the g file which is better than opening up the f file, because the pawn is well supported by my pieces, I can also push the pawn if necessary, ok we have knight g2 rook e1 a4 bishop d1, to target the pawn with two pieces, you might say, why isn't black just trying to hit the center? But hitting the center isn't like going to the supermarket and buying a packet of chips, you have to think deeply about what the outcome will be if you push a pawn because the pawn can't retreat, if you push the e pawn then I will capture the pawn, takes then I will win your knight for free, you can put mud on your face to hide your stupid looking face, so if you dare to play f4 to put pressure on the structure and the file then I will do material exchanges on c5, takes, g4 to block the bishop. Knight f6 then I will sacrifice the. Sacrifice the 1 2 3, I will sacrifice the knight on f4, you cannot take it because of this so what black will play. Alpha Zero is a stockfish subscriber too, he will play knight e4, putting the knight in the area of crocodiles, this is beyond your imagination, you are only capable to sacrifice a pawn or two pawns but you can never sacrifice your pieces like this, if you want to play like me or Alpha Zero, then you can like and subscribe to my channel where you will get amazing contents from one and only Stockfish. Best move is to take the knight. Black will capture the knight with rook and after doing pawn exchanges on c6 we will play bishop takes pawn, and that's it. White will win the game completely because the knight have a very good outpost. Black have double pawns on c file and I have outside pass pawn, 
but in our actual game, he played queen f7 with the threat of playing f4 and getting rid from the e-file, if you want to learn something, you need curiosity, not special talents, after doing exchanges on e5 we have knight a4, f4 to break the structure, if a stranger gives you chocolate, then you should not accept it, but if you accept the pawn exchange offer on f4, then after knight takes f4, takes, 200 LO players will exchange all pieces to get a free pawn on c5, but there is an amazing move with bishop d4, impossible moves are possible in chess, not in your game, but in the game of a grandmaster like Magnus or me, if you take the bishop then rook e1 check will come, takes and it will be a checkmate. Game will be over so back to the position, we have knight takes c5 first, f takes g3, takes, and this structure is not bad at all, I have passed pawn on d file, knight takes g3 and we have king h2, targeting to the knight and bishop, knight f5 and if you dare to take the bishop, then after queen h5 check, knight h4 knight takes knight, king g3 rook to f6, and the position will be dead lost for you, the king will lose all his security and be exposed. Sing like no one's listening, love like you've never been hurt, dance like nobody's watching, and live like it's heaven on earth, so back to the position, we have knight e4, king h8, d6 with the supporting of the knight, so rook e5 to target the pawn with knight, rook h1 to get the file after king g1 and c5 is incoming threat, b6 king g1 bishop takes g2 rook takes g2, here if you play any normal kind of move for example c5, then I will play knight g5 to fork the queen and rook, queen backs then I will win up your rook, game will be over for you so in this position, we have rook g6. It protects against rook attacks and targets pawns, so b4 c5 b takes c5, takes rook h2 and we have rook exchanges and after some moves later we have queen exchanges on c5, looks like I winning here because I have passed pawn on d7 but. You will understand. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.